I can't tell you what it means to have a home. I've been itinerant my whole life and committed to solving these problems. I can now say to a global community that you can thrive and do this work at the same time. New Zealand for us um, has an, an enormous richness and um, the idea that you know we can still be learning, still be given um, wonderful new opportunities such as the Edmund Taylor Fellowship um, is um, one of the great glories of New Zealand. We work in partnership with EHF. Uh, EHF is responsible for selecting, attracting and integrating the, um, the fellows and we're the government partner so we communicate up to um, the, the government leaders, the ministry leaders and to make sure they know what's going on and to give EHF the, um, the space to do what they do best. We're looking at people who can change the way our uh, the way the industries operate in New Zealand uh, on a scale that's larger than just minor change making. So we're looking for the real cream of the crop here. Even the government just working with EHF is, I think, says a, a ton that they've created this um, Global Impact Visa. Myself and my partner will be moving to New Zealand in early 2018 and we'll be uh, taking our time to find out where we settle. We're really interested in um, exploring the country so that we make sure that we create the most authentic version of the business that we want to create. I live in the far north. Um, it's a so I think it's the best kept secret. I probably shouldn't say this so publicly. There's a growing network of tech entrepreneurs who are up there. There's a growing network of social entrepreneurs and social impact project people who are up there looking at and talking about how we can work together to help lift that district, to help connect people, to help strengthen community. The process for the Global Impact Visa was fascinating because uh, I'm sure it required health checks, uh, required a police background check, and it required uh, some other written documentation, financial proof, but it was really seamless. I mean, it was amazing to be able to uh, apply and then within, I think in my case, six days, have an approval and have a visa taken care of. That's unheard of. If you're an investor, you need to show, uh, you know, that you've earned your investment funds legitimately. The process wasn't surprising. It kind of felt like applying to um, college uh, all over again. Because I was in so much awe, I have to tell you, that the process felt, although it was daunting at times, felt given. Like, of course you will ask me this question. I can't imagine what it will be like in three years time when we come back and, you know, there's three to four hundred of, 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 of these people here in one room. I mean, I, I can't imagine it. I feel like I have way more responsibility to New Zealand now that I have this visa. That you have gifted me this ability to be here and I am a ambassador now um, that's going out in the world and I better represent New Zealand with all my heart.